We'll get to those stories in just a moment, but first we want to start with some breaking news this morning. Just minutes ago, we've attained the arrest documents for the ex husband of Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. He was arrested yesterday and has since bonded out. Denver 7's chief investigator Tony Kovaleski joins us now and Tony, you've been reading over those arrest papers. Good morning, Danielle. Yeah, a much better picture of what happened. Clearly things got a little crazy and silt on Saturday night. Let's start with the three charges against Lauren Boebert's former husband. They're all relatively minor, but disorderly conduct is defined as a violation, a petty offense. Third degree trespass defined as a violation, a petty offense and obstruction of a peace officer, a class two misdemeanor. So overall minor, but we're getting a better understanding of exactly what happened in reading through the arrest warrant affidavit. Stay with me here for a second. Um, it, the call started as a domestic violence abuse call uh, before it, it disconnected. Second party called and stated her name was Lauren. Dispatch advised they heard the female say, I just touched your nose. The male has was heard saying she punched me in the face. Obviously, that's been in contention. But these charges are in result of, of what her ex-husband, Jason Bobert, did in dealing with law enforcement. I want to take you deeper in that because it clearly shows he did not cooperate once police arrived. Arrived. Lauren explained she was having a conversation with her ex-husband. Now I'm quoting from the arrest warrant affidavit, Jason Bobert, and the topic turned to their new partners. Things got heated as both parties argued. At one point, Lauren admitted to placing her finger on Jason's nose to end the conversation. Officer, Moore, Officer Morrison asked Lauren how much Jason had to drink. Lauren replied Jason had much more to drink than she had. It then goes into details of Jason basically violating orders from law enforcement as they arrived at that restaurant in Silt on Saturday night. Um, Jason begins yelling at the officers and deputies stating, get the F out. It should be noted that Silt Police Department is still investigating the claims of domestic abuse against Jason Bobert. Jason continues to fail to cooperate with officers, and that's what this arrest warrant affidavit basically details. Police showed up. They asked Lauren Bobert's husband to cooperate. He clearly didn't. His language was frankly over the top based upon the arrest warrant affidavit, and that's what led to the three charges. Danielle, that basically say uh, he, he violated his responsibility once police arrived. This has nothing to do with the claim of domestic violence on either side. As you heard, that's still being investigated, but he was arrested yesterday for basically not playing ball with law enforcement on Saturday night. And you have to imagine since these accusations stem from his behavior, his alleged behavior with law enforcement, some of it must have been caught on the body camera. Uh, it is on body camera. We know that we have made a request for the body camera, the 911 calls. I had a conversation with the police chief of Silt on Monday afternoon. He said they will release all of that once they complete their investigation and the affidavit again confirming that investigation is ongoing, but what they said here is what Jason Bobert did on Saturday night, not acceptable, and they filed charges. All right, a lot to unpack. Tony, thank you very much.